Fran. English Grammar Convention. Present perfect verb tense, past participle. A three skill level, question 21. Me medicine, antidote your ignorance. Show some love and throw some bands on my cash app. Cash app, hashtag, dollar sign, me medicine. Keep me fueled. I can continuously provide you with these bills. Keep you in the know and up your knowledge game. Be sure to subscribe. English Foundation, verb tense, question 21. Complete the sentence with the present perfect form of the verb. The apricot scone, which is packed with fresh apricots, walnuts, cashews, and dried cherries. Blank. The carob muffin has the best-selling item on the menu. The task here is to shift the tense of replace with its present perfect verb form. The perfect tense describes completed actions. Another way of saying this is the perfect tense usually tells about something that has, had, or will have happened. To form the perfect tense, use a form of the helping verb to have with the past participle of the main verb. The past participle of a verb is usually the same as its past tense form, its simple past tense form, that is. But sometimes the verb is irregular. The present perfect tense tells about something that has happened or has started already. It uses a present tense form of the helping verb to have which is either going to be has or have. Note that has corresponds to second person singular subjects and have will be paired with the first person singular pronoun I, the first person plural pronoun we, the second person singular pronoun you, and all third person plural pronouns. All right, so that might have been a lot to digest mentally, Check out these examples. The sun has broken through the clouds. Note that here, has is the second person singular form of the verb to have. Again, it agrees with its singular subject, the sun. Also notice that the main verb broken is the past participle of the verb to break. The past participle verb form of break is obviously irregular. The verb form has broken is the correct present perfect tense. Now check out another example. John and Erica have played the violin for years. Note here that have is the present tense form of the verb to have that is paired again with I, you, we, and all plural subjects. Here our plural subject is John and Erica. So the present perfect tense have played correctly corresponds to its plural subject, John and Erica. All right, back to our original question. Now for a detailed solution. Again, the present perfect tense tells about something that has happened or has already started. It uses the present tense form of the helping verb to have, which is has, H-A-S, for singular third person subjects. An example of a singular third person subject here is muffin. It's third person because we're speaking of it. We're not speaking of ourselves. Neither are we speaking to it. We'll get into first person and second person in just a moment. And you're going to use have, H-A-V-E, for the following subjects. Whenever you have the first person singular pronoun I, the first person plural pronoun we, so in first person, you're speaking of yourself in written or spoken communication, as well as for the second person pronoun you. In second person, you're communicating to someone. You're directly speaking to someone through either written or spoken communication. And have, H-A-V-E, is also used for all other plural subjects. So we have quite a few third person plural subjects here. Apricots walnuts, cashews, and even cherries. Third person communication means we're talking about a person, place, or a thing. We're not speaking of ourselves or neither are we directly communicating to another entity. 
All right, let's get back on track. So either form of the verb to have is then combined with the past participle of the main verb. And voila, we have the present perfect tense. So according to this rule, has replaced is the correct present perfect verb form. The use of has replaced is appropriate here because the apricot scone has already taken the place of the carob muffin. I also want you to take into consideration that the main verb replace is regular. Therefore, its past participle verb form replace is the same as its simple past tense verb form, which is also replace. And if you watch previous sessions, you would have learned conjugating verb forms to the simple past tense. I'm always going to tie everything in together so you can have as much clarity around the topic of verb tense as possible. Once again, we have preceded replaced with the present tense form of the helping verb to have that agrees in number with its singular third person subject of the verb, the apricot scone. So has, of course, corresponds to a singular third person subject. In all, has replaced is the correct present perfect verb form.